is at 18 seconds. With much pleasure, I now invite the third speaker of the government, Mr. Rabin, to deliver his speech. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank the opposition for rendering all the rebuts I prepared useless. Because they have taken a stand as they, they do not understand the mechanics of the motion. This house believes that developed nations must pay environmental tax. Now the opposition stands up and says this house believes that all nations must pay environmental tax. The premise shows only developed nations. So by saying all nations, you are already proving today's motion's premise. Therefore, you are agreeing with us. Thank you, we have won. Now, <laughs> now let's go to the POI brought out by the opposition team. They implied with that, why only developed nations pay the tax? Why only developed nations? Well, members of the opposition, if we agree with you, how does this affect our stand? If we agree that developing nations should pay, how does this affect our stand? Proving that developing nations should pay does not prove the fact that developed nations should pay the tax. What the opposition today has done is shown us that has proved to us that there are environmental problems that need to be fixed. And they have put to us. Sir. Yes, madam. Yes. For your information, when you propose this motion and say that developed nations, you have confined yourself to the premise of developed nations Thank you. only. Thank you. And we Thank are you, looking madam. at a wider Thank scope you, which includes Thank developing you, nations. Thank you, madam. You're taking us much time. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> developed nations should pay. And I, I also agree that developing nations should pay. But what does today's motion call us to debate about? Today's motion calls for us to debate on whether developed nations should, not about developing countries. Does it say all nations? Does it say developing countries? No. It says developed nations. Proving developed nations, if you agree with us, developed nations should pay. If you agree with us, developing nations should pay. You're already agreeing with the motion. We have won. Thank you, madam. On the point, sir. Yes, madam. Yes. Um, just for information, developing nations and developed nations are two very different things. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I completely agree. It's two very different things. And so, developed nations still should be taxed. Thank you. Uh, the <laughs> no, sit down, sit down, no, thank you. Uh, then, uh, we have proven today that not only developed nations should be taxed, but also developing nations. They have further proven our case. We don't have any, we don't really have much to do here, so I'm just going to go on with the minute details of the, of the whole case. Now, I'm going to explain to the opposition how the system works. We've all watched TV, we've all watched CNN, we know about the Govian tax. Tax where, as, as you pointed out, there's a contradiction. My first speaker said, we should, uh, that, that uh, my first speaker said 61% of, uh, of all problems regarding the environment is caused by developed nations. And the second speaker said, well, we should fund the developing nations. This is what we call Picovian tax. We've said developed nations should pay to a global environmental fund annually based on their pro rata use of global resources. The money in the fund would then be paid to developing nations for every acre of sustainably healthy natural resources which they consume. For example, the fund would pay uh, Brazil for every acre of sustainable resources it maintains. Therefore, we maintain the environment. This is how the tax will work. And this is why we, even, we, we say developed nations should be taxed. Now, um, let, let me go on. The, the opposition then stood up and implied that uh, the world economy is going down. And with that, it's going to be very taxing. On the point, sir. Uh, no, thank you. But let's be realistic. Points of information. Only sir. a bit, no, thank you. Only a small <laughs> bit of the economy uh, is affected by this. And it's the, if the economy is going down, that these nations will pay less tax. We are not proposing or imposing tax on the smallest barrel of oil to of all these nations. We are only proposing tax to be uh, imposed uh, after a certain limit, ladies and gentlemen. Um, ladies and gentlemen, let, let me further elaborate on how the system works. Uh, <laughs> then, ladies and gentlemen, the opposition stood up and said environmental tax would in fact be 